Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to talk about very interesting topic. This topic is very interesting for many of you because it will help you if you travel to Egypt and if you don't know how to talk in this situation. In this lesson, I'm going to help you to talk in this kind of situations. Right. So our topic is Murshid we Sayah, guide and tourist. So we got a guide and tourist and they are talking at pyramids. Well, let's get started. The first phrase comes from the tourist. Where are we now? So in this question, I want you to focus on the word Dilwati. Dilwati means now. It's very common word in Arabic and it is, it is daily life word. Dilwati, Dilwati. All right. Ehna fein Dilwati. Ehna fein Dilwati. Where are we now? Ehna fein Dilwati. Let me say this question very fast. Ehna fein Dilwati. Ehna fein Dilwati. Okay. Ehna fil ahramat. We are at pyramids. Ehna fil ahramat. So the word ehna means we. Ehna fil ahramat. Ada. So the tourist here is asking questions because this is the first time to see pyramids and it looks very weird to him. So the tourist is asking questions. So to ask what is this, you need to say Ada. You look at the thing and then you say Ada. Ada. What is this? Ada. All right, he the tourist will answer. Da il haram il akbar khufu. Da il haram il akbar khufu. Da il haram il akbar khufu. This is the greatest pyramid khufu. Da il haram il akbar khufu. So in Egypt we have the greatest pyramid. We got three pyramids. The three greatest pyramid in, of Egypt. One of them is the greatest one. Is called khufu. Da il haram il akbar khufu. Let me say this phrase very fast. Da al haram il akbar khofu. Da al haram il akbar khofu. Alright, next. Da dakhm giddan. It's very huge. Da dakhm giddan. This is how you say it. Da dakhm giddan. Da dakhm giddan. The tourist here is amazed. Wa kaman adim giddan. Also, it's very old. We kaman adim giddan. So, if we go to the word we kaman, it means also. The word kaman means also. Kaman adim giddan. It's very old. Well, the tourist said it's very huge. Dadakh mi giddan. And the guide just uh, added another phrase. We command Adim. The word Adim means old. Get then very. And usually the word get then comes after the adjective. And here our adjective is Adim. We command Adim get then. All right. Let me say these two phrases very fast. Just listen and improve your listening. Dadakhmi get then. وكمان قديم جدا Alright, next مصر فيها تاريخ عظيم مصر فيها تاريخ عظيم Egypt has a great history Well, if you go to the تاريخ The word تاريخ means history مصر فيها تاريخ عظيم Egypt has a great history. Masr fiha tarikh azim. 
فاستر مصر فيها تاريخ عظيم مصر فيها تاريخ عظيم أكيد and now the tourist just uh, just he he make sure that Egypt has a great history that's why he came Egypt أكيد sure أكيد so this word أكيد we got this word this word أكيد is sure أكيد عشان كده أنا جيت مصر عشان كده أنا جيت مصر أكيد عشان كده أنا جيت مصر sure that's why I came Egypt أكيد عشان كده أنا جيت مصر so عشان because it's one of the most important words in Egyptian Arabic عشان عشان just keep it in your mind عشان عشان write it now I say write it now I'm your, I'm your teacher and I say write it now you don't see me but if you want to learn faster just obey me عشان عشان alright so the word عشان means because that's why I came Egypt let me say this phrase very fast أكيد عشان كده أنا جيت مصر أكيد عشان كده أنا جيت مصر alright next أنا مهتم بمصر والتاريخ I'm interested in Egypt and history أنا مهتم به alright uh, this expression أنا مهتم به I'm interested in أنا مهتم به so you, you can say أنا مهتم به and, and, and then you can bring whatever you want أنا مهتم بسبورت أنا مهتم بكرة القدم فوتبول أنا مهتم بالسباحة سومينج أنا مهتم بأمريكا I'm interested in America أنا مهتم ب and then bring whatever you want أنا مهتم بمصر والتاريخ So I'm interested in Egypt and التاريخ So the word التاريخ التاريخ means history Alright أنا مهتم بمصر والتاريخ This is how we say it faster أنا مهتم بمصر والتاريخ. Right next. تعالى تعالى شوف ده. Come see this. تعالى. Uh, pay attention on this word. It's one of these uh, very common uh, words in Egyptian Arabic. تعالى. Come. شوف ده. See this. تعالى شوف ده. تعالى شوف ده. Come, see this. I'm gonna show you a new thing which will in, uh, surprise you. تعالى شوف ده. Okay. Mm, ايه mm, What is this? ايه uh, So ايه is a, a very common question we always ask in our dialect. ايه what is this, Ada? So this is if you're asking about a, f a, a masculine thing, Ada. But what if you're asking about female thing? You gotta change that to D. Da to D, right? What is this, Ada? شكله غريب. It looks weird. شكله غريب. The word غريب means weird, strange, شكله غريب. Looks weird. Okay, again. Hmm, إيه ده؟ شكله غريب. The Abul Hole. The Abul Hole. This is the Sphinx. So guys, all of you know, all, all of you know the Sphinx is, is a very strange, uh, very strange statue, uh, and uh, Abul Hol is a face of a man, uh, and he is a old Egyptian man, and body of the lion. This is the Sphinx in Egypt. So the Abul Hol. So what is Sphinx in in Arabic is. Abu il hol Abu il hol Again, I'm gonna say it very slow. 
Abu il hole. So this is the sphinx, and sphinx Abu il hole is a masculine thing in Arabic. So that's why we use da instead of using the. Pay attention, this is about grammar. Da Abu il hole. All right. Wish in San, a face of human. Wish in San and Gism Asad, and a body of lion. Wish in San, we Gism Asad. Wish in San, we Gism Asad. Wish in San, we Gism Asad. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> All right. What do you think uh, the tourist, uh, how the tourist? Uh, gonna end the conversation thanks for the information so how you can say thanks for the information thanks for the information shukran giddan ala al ma'lumat keep this phrase in your mind because it's a very beautiful phrase and you need to and you need to keep it in your mind shukran giddan ala al ma'lumat i'm gonna say it very slow Shukran giddan ala il ma'lumat. So that il ma'lumat means the information. So the word il ma'lumat here means the information. So again, shukran giddan ala il ma'lumat. Il haf. You're welcome. Il haf. At this point, we come to the end of our conversation. See you at the next conversation.